there! Welcome to Banjo-Kazooie! Uh, this is gonna be the start of my channel because, um, I thought about it for a long time, actually. I was, uh, really divided on what I wanted to start recording. And, um, had that, like, appeal to popularity fallacy, where it's like, well, I'll just pick up whatever, um, game is popular right now and play that and see how it goes. And, uh, I think I've changed my mind on that. I'm gonna... Go back to my N64 days. This is the first console I've ever owned. I'm going to go through some of my favorite games on the console to start out. I'll probably save a couple of them for later on down the road if this thing works out. And we'll, we'll just start from here. Um, Banjo-Kazooie is one of my favorite games from all time. Probably my second favorite uh, childhood game. Um, with my first... These are all almost full. With my first being Banjo-Tooie. Um, I really like this one a lot, but Banjo 2 has got my heart. We're going to delete this. We're also playing, if you notice, by the poor graphics quality. We are not playing the remaster on the Xbox. And we are skipping this. Um, but this is the original on my personal N64 from childhood. If I recall right, you don't even have to go through the tutorial here. Listen up, I'm Battles, the short-sighted bull. I'm Banjo, and here's my buddy, Kazooie. It sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? I. What kind of voice do you give Kazooie? I, I don't need to give any of them voices. They all have voices, right? You guys can read. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna skip this. She flew up to a mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. I have no idea what voice to give Kazooie. I'm like thinking about it every time I see it, and I'm like, I can't do a female voice. Like a raspy one like Kazooie would have. Ugh. Uh, this might not even get uploaded. Uh, I've done this several times already. Um, where I've started a game and just not uploaded it because there's been some issue with the audio or whatnot. And I'm just not having that. Also, uh, one of the reasons I prefer banjo to this one is it has a much faster uh, start. You got your talent trot right off the bat, all your moves. You don't have to worry about... Uh, killing stuff all the time. This also feels very weird to me. Uh, I have not busted out my N64 in quite a while to legitimately play, that is. Um, here and there, I've pulled up a couple games. Stop! 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 That was odd. I keep trying to talent trot. I'm an extra honeycomb, please. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Bar. Oh, dear. I like these guys. They just got the grumpy expressions. Uh, I'm just going to go through the Spiral Mountain area and get all the um, honeycombs. I do know my way around this game very well. I played it over and over as a kid. Uh, I'm going to probably remember where everything is. Oh, nope. As I say that, I go to the wrong tree to get the empty honeycomb. It's one of these trees, though. Not this one. It's that one. And that makes three. We're halfway done. I'm also going to um, try to play through the entire game. I have a tendency nowadays to, if I've played a game before and I try to replay it, I just don't go all the way through. I'll only go like halfway and then I'll be like, oh well, you know, that's good enough. I, I, I got the giblets I was looking for the game. I got my nostalgia fix. Uh, so I will try to play through these series completely. Um, I don't think Banjo-Kazooie will take that long. It's not a super long game. Especially since every level is literally just, like, almost an instance. You got super I I'm also planning, um... 
I'm doing Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 might be my actual first video because it's like the first video game that I owned. Uh, I have a lot of respect for it, but I'm going to be honest, Banjo-Kazooie's better. It's it's just a better game. Uh, that's kind of why I'm gravitating, gravitating toward it. Uh, also, I've, I'm doing this on a whim, which is how I do half the shit in my life. Uh, <laughs> I'm home from lunch. I have an hour-long lunch break, and I'm all like, you know, I'm going to run home. I'm going to assemble all my old recording equipment. And I'm going to give it an old recording try. Um, oh, cool. i got to talk to this guy again. <coughs> so you're ready to tackle the witch now. What voice do I give her? Across the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. I'll fuck you up. Some odd foreshadowing there, Bottles. Odd foreshadowing. Just get to the end, and Bottle's like the last boss. Like, ah, you may have defeated my witch, but... Oh, speaking of witch. There's Tootie, our sister, captured by Gruntilda. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and Tootie old. I think I used to hack my bear, kind of kick your butt. Rescue him. That's pretty much what she says. She pukes out words, right? Come on, go push the switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. I like that voice better. We're going to give her that voice. That's Mistress Grunty Patterson. Ninja, help me, please. I'm just a little bit. My cat's looking at me like I'm crazy. There he is. My fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. God, there's so many voices in this game. I'm not I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> I can't pull them out of my ass like that. Um, Jiggies are going to be Christopher Walken, I guess. A any miscellaneous items just going to be Christopher Walken. Jiggies, uh, note pieces, any honeycombs, whatever. One-off talking stuff. You found! To enter the world, show not the picture. You must suck this dick. I still don't have a voice for it. I'll figure it out. Hey, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, get the hell out of here. That's it. The picture's complete. And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, so, 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 so. I can go in. We can do Mumbo's Mountain. Um. Shoot, you know, I, ha I have to be back to work soon. What time is it? I got time. We're going to Mumbo. Kitty. Okay, so the pain in the butt about Banjo-Kazooie is um, you have to get all the notes first go. There's a couple worlds that you can't legitimately do that on until you go to another world and get the other move. And that would be uh, the Frostland, I believe, and a Freeze Easy Peak, to be specific. And Gobi's Valley. My general tactic for that is to go get the speedy boots out of Gobi's Valley after I unlock them both and just go from there. I believe. I don't know. I haven't played this in a while. But like I said before, I played this so much in my childhood, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble getting around and doing stuff. In fact, if you haven't noticed, my top priority right now is getting Talon Trot, which I am making a be beeline for. Giant termites. What a concept. Who needs you, Kazooie? Oh, 
Call out, where are the eggs? Kasuli can learn to use us as ammo. Uh, Talon Trat will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. Well, that sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left Z button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice! Bam, done. Talon Trot, mastered. Jiggy Man, got. <clears throat> You must search the ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Go. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Wait, they do a lot of hand holding here for the first level. I'm not gonna lie, everything. Is, ah, here we go. <coughs> uh. Me, Mumbo Token, use for Mumbo Magic. How? Christopher Walken's easy to impersonate. You just you just go how after you say a uh, line, and it's just like oh that uh, that was obviously Christopher Walken. Nobody else is rational does that. Oh my gosh, this control stick. It's got notches. What kind of mad lad puts notches in their control stick? I had a kitty in my lap, by the way. Um, my rookie kitty. He's my he's my baby. He is a sweetheart. He used to be a street kitty, and now he is a spoiled uh, indoor kitty. And uh, I love him almost as much as Congo loves his oranges. Oh, get wrecked! Grr, clever bear. I found that. I found that gold, man. Stole your orange. Giving it to this guy. Oranges are nice. You may notice I am also going to try and whip through this first level pretty quick because I do have to go back to work at some time. I know what you're all thinking. I left that jiggy, and you're right. Did it disappear? Oh, I was about to say, what the hell? Why would it do such a thing? Um, I'm not going up there, by the way, because uh, the Grunty Switch is up there, and I don't have Ground Pound yet. So I'm going to go get that real quick. After. I can't remember where this is exactly. Okay. I mainly did that just so I could get a look. I believe you're supposed to use the termite to, um, damn it, lock down these, this, 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 uh, slope. Couldn't find the word to get this, but heck that. Yeah, it's too slick for Kazooie. Hoo ya! <laughs> My parents must have hated this game. Just constant hours of. Just Kazooie making whatever weird noises that she uh, wants to make. Would probably be frustrating to listen to hours on end. I know my sister uh, really hated Metroid Prime. Because I played a lot of Metroid Prime too. And um, I spent a lot of time in the lava area. Cause, just because I liked the lava area a lot. And she hated the music there. Not because it was a bad tune. Just because it was repetitive. And she heard it five million times. I didn't have a huge game collection when I was a kid, but boy did I play the games I had over and over and over. Grab that bad boy. Talk to this mole guy. I got this big buster. Oh, I call this the Big Buster, sorry. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming her down on the floor. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. I gotta find a voice. Can I, can I just give her the Jewish mom voice? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Oh. In the eye. What the? In the eye. There we go. 
That's five jiggies. Halfway through the level already. They kind of, I just realized, they kind of built this level with some backtracking in mind. Because the move to do the eggs is um, over in that back corner with the monkey, Conga. And obviously the AZ move, butt pound, beak buster, beak blaster, is up here. I just got it. Were you not paying attention? You weren't paying attention, were you? Do a heckin' jump, do a heckin' smash, get a heckin' Jinjo, that's another Jiggy. Jinjo! I like how Banjo patiently waits for the Jinjo to finish flying in a circle around him. Kaboom! And yet another Jiggy! I, I am just pumping out Jiggies left and right. Gulp. All right, now we're gonna beeline it back to Konga. His name's Konga, right? I'm not getting that wrong. It's not like Congo or something. If he's like Congo or something, I've been calling him the wrong name all my life. And he deserves an apology. Not for me, but somebody should give him an apology. Last move on this world. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Lord Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, that sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press the bottom C button instead and you can shoot them out of your ass. Jeez, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. A bad brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo jumbo. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! That was my bad. Like, the second I press Z, I'm like, where's my shadow? And it's just gone, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna hit the fucking ground. Witch switch. Just poof. That's gotta be the lamest witch switch. It's like, yeah, on top of the mountain, there's a jiggy now. Good job. Figure that out, Brainiac. Alright, now we're gonna fuck up Konga. Cause he's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Hit you with my eggs. Oh, get wrecked! Yeah, I beat you. Give me that jiggy. Everybody's got jiggies. I just like somebody to, you know, throw me a 20 spot and be like, hey, there you go, man. What? You want jig? That's fucking gold, dude. <laughs> I ain't giving you a fucking jiggy. That's worth like $10,000. Here's 20 bucks. <laughs> got some fire flowers. Those are pretty. Alright, next, we got, uh, this guy. Uh, Juju. He's Mumbo's totem pole. The thing with Juju is you can really screw yourself if you don't do this. Because then you gotta exit and re-enter the world. It's not really screwing yourself. It takes maybe five minutes. If that. A gulp. Alright, finally. Really busting through this world, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, 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 you're Mambo. Yeah, meet Mambo. Miss Summon in all the game. Can help Banjo. Yeah, and filthy feathered friend. Watch it, hot boy. Mambo's magic tokens are hid by rich. Fern tokens and Mambo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens from Mambo magic. Look at Shine. Bring more. I don't have enough tokens. That's never happened to me. 
I think there's one in here though, all right? I don't know. Ah, oh, there's one in the termite hut. That's where it is. To the termite hut. Also, what time? Ah, I have plenty of time. I don't think there's anything behind his head in this one. Yeah. Again, backtracking. It's like, well, we gotta introduce you to the hornet's nest that you can do nothing in first. Oh. I don't know what I did there. I did it wrong. I did it bad, though. I'm sorry, friends. Love the music in this game. Uh, Grant Kirkhope. Um... Come to my house. I'll, I'll make you some spaghetti. <laughs> oh, that's randomly assaulting Mumbo there. Oobadaga. I'm termite. Remember magic free to judge back. You come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first transformation whatever he says. I cut him off a little bit. I'm in a super big rush. I gotta be back at work in a half hour. <laughs> I'm actually not in a rush at all. I beat this level a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. All I have to do is get to the top of the tower, exit as a termite, get the jiggy, world jiggy, and I am completed. I believe these are my last music notes. Yee! Yeah, I know bottles. Ah! You don't have to tell me well done. And jumpy. Hey, give me that cool backpack or what else? No, this is my backpack, bro. It's anti-magic backpack. It doesn't get transformed. Same with my shorts. I ain't gonna give that shit to you. If you have an anti-magic backpack and you put a magic item into it, what happens? Normally Banjo and Kazooie would do a little dance there, signifying you got all ten jiggies, but um, seeing as I'm a termite, there is no dance. Cleared it! Oh! Almost. Mario Brothers, this is not. Granty's magic stops you from taking the notes off the world, but the hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get a- Holy shit, that guy was bolting. Did you see that? What was that all about? He, like, he, he's supposed to just stay there. Why- Ah! Alright, screw that. That guy's gonna kick my ass. That's two world jiggies. I have 12 jiggies already. I'm just a fucking machine. Lump of magic get weak, and we put back our magic go. Magic go gun, must go back to bed, but no. I know my voice from on both sides. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Good news. Thanks. Alright, we're gonna trot our way up here. Because we're gonna get some more exposition, because we all love that. Hi, Bottles, tell me some more shit. This is a note door, sealed by Granty with one of her powerful musical spells. She's bored! It is not that simple to open it. You must catch these hands. Well, how many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this. I don't need energy. I'll be fine. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. I'm gonna bust this door open. Right, and with that, I think we're gonna call it uh, video number one. Um, 
Bye.